Hey everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. Now we're still going to explore the Cathedral Ship, which is actually just a big Gnosis um, that has absorbed some buildings from another planet. And one such building is this one right in front of us, which used to be a mall, actually, before it was absorbed. As you can see, it's now half mall with this weird holographic art thing a few weird holographic art things uh, and now uh, and uh, half gnosis as well and we get a frame repair a and a two skill upgrade a's from these uh, destructive destructible destroyable yeah let's go with that destroyable objects and here we have it's not really an, again not an, a mini boss but it's tough enough it's a lot tougher than the other enemies we're going to be encountering in here. And this guy uses a lot of thunder techniques, so if you have the coat lightning, equip that to one of your characters. It'll decrease the damage uh, by quite a bit. Use physical attacks against it. They seem to be more effective. And make sure that you avoid using any electrical attacks at all costs, because uh, they're not going to be any effective at all. I probably should have put Shion in her eggs unit, but I don't know that that's necessary. Let's see. As you can see, Chaos now does quite a lot of damage. Uh, Cosmos is still the still the star here, but uh, it's good that Chaos is actually contributing now. This guy's nothing special. He's got some hard hitting attacks, but you shouldn't have too much trouble with him. And the thing with these guys, this one actually is the only uh, enemy of this type that you're actually going to have to face, because he is in the way. He won't move, or he won't chase after you, but you do have to get through him in order to progress through this area. Uh, the others the one that we already faced and he was optional and there's another one in here that we're going to run into later that's also optional All right, and he does seem to want to go after Xion a lot don't know why that is and he gets two attacks in a row now how is that fair we don't get to do that well I mean each individual character gets uh, never you know what I mean you know what I'm talking about like I'm saying Cosmos can't attack twice in a row even though that'd be nice she has a boost oh but it doesn't matter cuz he's done he's toast good job Cosmos good job all you guys and she gains a level up and an ether upgrade Zeta that is awesome that's the um that's the best upgrade item you can get. You'll either get an upgrade item S or Z from these guys. And Z is definitely one you get because it'll add a hundred points uh, for whatever stat it's going to take. Anyway, let's heal up our characters real quick. And in here, this is another optional fight you can do later or you can do now if you want to uh, against these plant type gnosis the hydra as you can see they're not especially um, strong but there's a lot of them and in this case quantity does kinda take over for quality as you can see they're not too tough you know Chion almost got rid of one of them There he goes. Cosmos will get rid of one of them in one turn. Or at least I think she will. She should. Maybe not. I don't know if that was enough to get it. No, it wasn't. Wow. I'm shocked. So yeah, it'll. A lot of them will do this and and guard against your attacks, which isn't that big of a deal. 
I mean, still take plenty damage. I'm going to attack you first, since now I... Oh. Whoops. Oh well. I thought I had an extra attack there for some reason. Don't know why I thought that, but I did. So there you are. Let's get rid of you. There we go. Now Shion has an extra attack. And get rid of you as well. And let's boost with Cosmos. And let's go for you. Ooh, and Chaos is a boost. Very nice. Alright. Take it out, Cosmos. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give him a tasty or lunar seal, co uh, chaos. I almost called him Cosmos. All right. And a gravity bomb. This is probably the strong his strongest attack. Hits the whole party. Not fun. But again, these are guys aren't too much to worry about. And there's a save point right outside if you're really hurting. You can go outside, go to the save point, and use the biosphere. It's not a big deal. Uh, there is a shot point outside again, but um, the Gnosis type enemies do not give you money if, if you hadn't noticed. Which is why. Oh, we got a new attack Heaven's Wrath. Very nice. Hopefully, we can build that up soon and we get a decoder 15 for uh, winning that fight. And. Pick up these seeds, this flower seed, in the back of the building or, or the store. That'll be important later on. It's it's useless right now, but it will um, be important for something later on. You do want to pick it up. Come up here, and then come after this guy. Uh, you're not going to be able to get by him, so you just have to fight him. And these guys are nothing special. The ogres, you don't really need to worry about them. Um, their first, uh, their first turn, they're going to probably use an attack, or not an attack, but a technique that um, raises their uh, attack power. Uh, so you don't need to worry about them attacking you right off the bat. And you can pro usually take them out in two hits if you have. Uh, Cosmos and Chaos on your team. And they are weak to ether based attacks. As you can see, they, c they do a ton of damage against these guys. And another. A lot of these uh, Gnosis in here, they do uh, uh, all party attacks, which kind of sucks, but. You know, they're not. They're not terribly bad if you've. Um, taking the time to raise your characters up a little bit which I have give him a spell ray for the road and that'll take care of him or maybe not this will take care of him Alright, finish him off, and we'll get going. Come on, everyone. We still have a long yes, yes, Chaos, we do still have a long way to go. Alright. So that's the only Gnosis in this area, this upper area. You, you'll see there's stuff going on down here. A couple Gnosis running around and a lot of boxes. You can't get down there from here, but you will be able to get down here as soon as we get outside. From right here, use the elevator. Now, uh, again, this area in particular is optional. You do not have to come in here, um, but you will be missing out on a lot of good stuff. And we're at the 10 minute mark just about, so I will end the episode here and we'll venture inside this storeroom uh, next time on Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1.